Hey, I'm Matt Cornett. Uh, I play uh, EJ in High School Musical, the musical, the series, as well as Alan in Zombies 3. Uh, and this is Young Entertainment Matt. Joining me, Matt. Again, I'm Daniela with Young Entertainment Mag. We're so excited to talk with you today. First of all, congrats on Zombies 3 coming out today, July 15th. You Thank must you. be so yeah. excited. That's incredible. So are you doing anything specific to celebrate? Um, you know, today, I think a few people were gonna like get together and watch the movie, but then we were like, we've also seen this movie like four times at this point. So I think I think a lot of people have kind of started to fly back to Toronto, the ones that are from Toronto, and I know I, I know a lot of people are kind of all over the place. So we are not doing anything special uh, today. We all we all were together, or not all of us, but a few of us were together last night, um, and kind of we're we're together whenever that uh, that drops. So it was nice to be together with them for that. But we also all are in a big group chat, so we talk pretty much every day, anyways. That's so fun. Well, congrats. We're so excited for you. It Thank sounds you. like you guys have already seen it quite a few times. So you already did your celebrating, which is awesome. Yeah. So we're going to dive in to mm -hmm. High School Musical, the musical, the series. So at the end of season two, Portwell, Portwell, mm -hmm. Portwell fans got mm -hmm. their wish. However, we don't actually get to see EJ and Gina share a kiss. But in the trailer for season three, we definitely see some kisses happening. Should Portwell fans be excited for season three? And what are you excited for, for Portwell fans to see and experience in this season? Yeah, I mean, I think they should definitely be excited because, you know, we start the season off and they're, um, you know, they they start the season off together in this new fresh relationship that they're, you know, excited to explore. And there's, you know, there's a lot of things that start to kind of, uh, kind of challenge that a bit and like you know one one is ej directing uh you know it kind of pulls his focus away from from gina and i think uh not not entirely but you know it pulls a little bit of that focus away from from her um but you know this season ej's ej's very excited to go into the season and go into the summer with gina and get to start this new fresh relationship and just be happy together and be able to take this summer to like really spend time together and just make the relationship flourish and uh you know I, I it's a very fun season and there's a lot of twists and turns that i think people may not expect some that people might expect um as for something i think uh Port royal fans might be very excited for uh, i will say uh there is there is a little bit of uh, a duet that i i get to have with with sophia um I'm not gonna say anything more about it because i don't want to spoil anything but i will say there is a bit of a duet um, and it's a very, very fun one. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really excited for that. That's one of my favorite, favorite numbers uh, in, in the show um, this season, but it's, it's a fun, fun, fun season. Awesome. We're so excited. Thank you for sharing all that. So no. did you and Sophia have any specific method that you did off camera to help you guys get into your character as Portwell? Cause you guys have such a strong connection what is like the technique or the method behind that you know i wish i had some elaborate like detailed answer that like to that but we don't we <laughs> her and i are like such such good friends and we we are very very close um and and i think that that in itself was was able to translate um you know through the screen but no i mean it was just in between takes we would goof off and have fun and make jokes and um you know make TikToks with everybody and and you know this season we all played a lot of uh uh we're not really strangers which i'm if you're not familiar it's a great conversation game um and then you know i don't know i wish i had some amazing elaborate answer but not really we just we're we love goofing off you know offset and uh and i think that just translated the, the friendship really did Totally. You guys have like a real solid, authentic relationship. And so we can see it on screen. That's really special. Oh, cool. So more acting questions. So you mentioned in one of your interviews that you enjoyed working on the scene with Sophia when EJ is talking with Gina on the couch about Duke and how EJ's father helped him get in. So as an actor, 
How do you ground yourself in those types of scenes where you have to let yourself be so vulnerable and so emotionally mm -hmm. aware? Clearly you're an extraordinary actor, but what really specifically for you goes into that? Yeah, I think something that's that's important, and I, I used to be really bad at this, and I still am sometimes, is uh, especially for a scene like that, over preparing it is is not you know not a good thing, and just like like focusing on it, focusing on it, focusing on it, and just like working on it, working on it, working on it, sometimes is is you know does more harm than good, um, and you know there's. There's a couple scenes this season that that are very uh, you know heartfelt, grounded scenes, and and you know that's just the thing. I kind of just will read it a couple times, make sure I know my lines, and then go into the scene, really just um, trying to be present in the scene and present you know in, in that specific scene, present with Sophia, and just really playing this as real as possible. And you know what happens happens, and and letting the moments play. Um, as authentically and naturally as possible. Because for me, if I work on a scene too much and I rehearse a scene with myself too much, then I start to create these pre-imposed uh, moments in the scene that I will make sure happen um, because I feel like that's the best thing. But really the best thing is just is just making sure that the moments happen naturally, no matter what that may be. So, um, and Sophie is such, like, such an insanely talented actress that she, you know, she makes that very easy and it's very easy to just play in a scene with her and, and really yeah. just let moments happen uh, naturally. That's so cool. That's also kind of like a lesson for life. Sometimes we just over plan uh -huh. everything and we rehearse everything. And it's like, sometimes we just got to like, let it go. Right. I know I'm bad yep. at that too. <laughs> yep. That's I am definitely a over planner and an overthinker. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's awesome. I mean, you did such a good job. Um, so that's so cool to know, like your insight and how you think about all that. So yeah. what is one thing in season three of High School Musical, the musical, the series that we haven't seen from EJ yet? And what else are you excited for us to see from EJ in season three? Um, oh, wow, that's a great question. Actually, I think um, I think this season you will see, uh, especially in the earlier part of the season, you get to see a much goofier side of EJ. Um, and I feel like there's been times where you've seen a little a little goofiness out of EJ, but I think this season specifically, you see you see some moments that are extra goofy from EJ because he's at this camp that he grew up going to. This is like, I mean, he says in the trailer, this is his second home. Um, and you know he, this is the camp where he met Nini, and this is the camp that he, he he has so many memories here, and this place truly is like his entire childhood. So um, you see these moments where like there's camp traditions that happen that he finally is getting to see his friends' experience for the first time, and he's so excited for that. So he just gets so goofy, and I think he just, he just becomes a kid whenever he's at this camp, and he sees these specific things happening that are camp traditions, um, and that was so much fun to get to play and just get to like be it kid and a goofball and like I almost say the closest uh the closest comparison to it would be uh season two um the spring break episode whenever uh EJ and uh Ashlyn are at Ashlyn's house and there's like a whole sock puppet moment and EJ's playing with all these toys from his childhood that was a very goofy side of EJ and I think that is probably the closest translation to like how this goofiness of EJ this season plays but um, also, I'm just really excited for people to see, um, you know, I think you really do get to see EJ go through a lot this season. You get to see him go through the excitement of being at camp and this excitement of growing with, uh, you know, his, his new relationship. And then you also see him become over, very overwhelmed and stressed with having to, to direct the show and then um, not really knowing what's next for himself and not knowing you know, where he's going after camp and then trying to impress his father with this directing. And then, you know, just so many different things that he experiences. And then you kind of get to see some very, very heartfelt moments with him um, and uh, and some other people. Uh, and, and I think, yeah, I think he just goes through a roller coaster of emotions and, and, and feelings this season. Um, some good, some bad. And I'm, I'm really excited for people to see that. I'm excited to see it because I haven't even seen it yet. So. Um, I'm just excited for this show in general, this, this season. It's, it's such a great show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. So fun. We can't wait. So 
Is there one thing about the entire high school musical, high school musical, the musical, the series experience that you know now that you wish you knew before the seri series even aired on November 12th, Oof. 2019? Yeah. Um... I would, I mean, I would just go to say, I mean, I, I think a, a big thing that this show has taught me and I, I hope it, it shows other people and teaches other people is just like being fully you and fully yourself and not having to try and impress other people or trying to um, put on this perfect persona. I mean, that's what EJ does in season one and it gets himself in trouble and he's also just not able to just have a happy, like loving life because he's trying to impress everyone. Um, and so like, I, you know, that's something that I used to struggle with a lot is just trying to, and you know, at times I still do, like, I still, I'm, I still like to, um, I still like to, uh, I don't know, what's the word? I just went blank. I, I basically, I still like to, uh, try and impress people and try and, you know, make people like me. And it's like, the, I think the best thing you can do is just be fully yourself and 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 let people love you for you. And uh, I think that starts with also just being proud of yourself and loving yourself and um, growing from that. Because this show is so beautiful in the sense of it, it, it tells so many incredible stories and uh, you know it, it shows so many beautiful faces uh, that are just proud of who they are and where they come from and uh, you know everything about themselves. And so. I'm very, I'm very happy and feel very lucky to be a part of, of a show that tells those stories. Yeah, that's amazing. Do you have one single favorite memory from your high school musical, the musical, the series experience that maybe it's like a behind the scenes thing or just something that meant a lot to you that you'd want to share with everyone? One single memory, that's tough. I would, um, I would go to say, I mean, Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple. So one, uh, one of my favorite like on set moments was the very, very, very first scene I ever filmed for this show was a scene in the cafeteria at East High um, with, uh, with Olivia and uh, Dara. And it's the scene where we're sitting at the table and we're trying to figure out, uh, you know, who we're going as to the auditions for, for the show. Um, and that was the very first scene I ever shot for this show. Um, and it was just wild to me because I was like, wow, I'm in East High in this like wildly famous cafeteria where all these incredible, you know, things happen and where this amazing movie was shot. And it was just very surreal to me. And that being my first ever scene shot there was was incredible. Um, as of, in terms of outside of the show or outside of filming specifically um, in scenes, I think one of my favorite memories this season specifically, we had a lot of time in between takes, just kind of just hang out and relax. And it was so beautiful where, where we were at. We were at this summer camp and, you know, had the LA sun. And um, I think just anytime we're all getting to hang out together, um, you know, it's always such a great time. There were times in Salt Lake City where we would go on hikes um, and, and all get to kind of hang out there and spend time together there. And we would have game nights. And I think the game nights really are some of my favorite moments. Um, I, I don't think I could pick one. We have we have picnics on the lawn at, at camp when we were filming there, and then in Salt Lake we would have so many game nights and we'd go on hikes. And I I love these people, and I I, I don't think I can pick one moment. That's amazing, though. It sounds like you were really at camp. <laughs> like that's so. Yeah, we, it, you guys. It felt like we were at camp. It did. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate your time, and I'm just gonna ask you. We have some Twitter fans that just went crazy when they found out that we were getting to interview you. So we have a couple questions for them. So Maria wants to know, how would you describe Gina and EJ's relationship in just three words? Oh my goodness. Uh, oh. Goofy. Um. I'm going to use, this is two words, but I'm going to use it as one word with a, with a, a little hype in there. Uh, roller coaster. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of been, it's kind of been all over the place. It's been an up and down. Um, and then, uh, uh, genuine, I, I'll say genuine just because I feel like they have a genuine connection. I really do. I feel like they, they, 
they, they are able to connect on, on multiple levels. I love that. That was perfect. So Audrey says, EJ is a comfort character for so many people, including myself. How does it feel knowing that him and you are loved by so many people? Um, well, first of all, I was putting tears in my eyes, so thank you. Um, <laughs> I love you guys so much. Mm, that makes me, that makes me teary. Um, I love you guys so much and it means a lot that uh, I get to just create this character uh, and get to be a part of this beautiful show. Um, and I just love that I get to be there for people, whether, you know, I'm physically there uh, or not. I, 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 it means a lot that I get to help people through a lot of times. I've talked to a few people that I've met that are just like, you know, this show and like your character, like really helped me through a tough time in my life. And it means a lot. And it like, that means so much to me because that's what, that's why we do what we do. We, you know, create these shows just to kind of give people an escape and give people entertainment and joy and love and everything. And it, it means a lot. And so thank you for saying that. And I love each and every one of you guys so much. That's so sweet. Look at you out here changing the world, doing what you love. That's so cool. Wow. That's so cool. Seriously. Um, yeah, that is awesome. You have an impact on so many people. That must be like an incredible feeling. So we're going to wrap it up with one last tweet. And this one is a little silly, yeah. so I love it. Do you okay. think that Ricky or EJ would survive an alien? Oh, and this is from, I have to say, this is from ever obx4 that's who the tweet came from okay. they okay. said do you think that ricky or ej would survive an alien alien invasion why or why not uh, i i i don't think ricky would survive one i just don't i think that he you know sorry josh but i i i think ricky would kind of be all over the place i don't know if he would know what to do I feel like EJ would know what to do because he grew up going to summer camp where, you know, you learn all these different things on how to kind of like survive in the woods and go through all this stuff. Um, also, uh, you know, we're going to create a world where EJ is also uh, a little bit of Alan from zombies. So he knows his aliens a little bit. <laughs> I love that. That was a great answer. Well, thank you so much, Matt. You're an absolute pleasure. We're so happy that we got to talk to you and we're so excited to watch you do everything. This is just the beginning for you. You're gonna do amazing things in your life and your career. And we're here to cheer you on every step of the way. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And do not forget to subscribe to Young Entertainment Mag.